A Bay Area detention center, the subject of complaints about mistreatment and abuse. Now, a city leader takes a look inside to see conditions for himself. Good afternoon. I'm Michelle Griego. And I'm Kenny Choi. The West Contra Costa Detention Center has also gotten attention because it's become a holding facility for undocumented immigrants. It's a practice that KPIX 5 reporter Jackie Ward explains is about to end. Richmond Mayor Tom Butt waited months to walk through these doors to see for himself how detainees were treated inside the West County facility. I haven't been here since this facility opened, maybe 25, 30 years ago. Butt says he wanted to see the place where alleged mistreatment and abuse was happening in his city. He says what he heard today was different depending on whether he was speaking to a male or female inmate. The men said if they had to be detained, they preferred to be here. While the women said, well, "Some of the deputies are racist and they, 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 I think verbally abuse them." Now, again, whether that's accurate or not, I don't know. I'm just telling you what they said. The mayor was joined by members of the city's Human Rights and Human Relations Commission, who were concerned about what will now happen to the 169 detainees being held here by ICE after Contra Costa County Sheriff David Livingston broke a contract with ICE earlier this week. Their attorneys are here. Their families are here, and. They may very likely be sent to Yuba, I understand, or other parts of the, of the prison system. The sheriff's office does not do immigration enforcement. In fact, our policy prohibits it. The county says ending the contract was partly based on pressure from the public. It's now up to the federal government to figure out what to do with the ICE detainees here. Within 118 days, sheriff deputies tell Mayor Butt that they're working with ICE to clear as many of those cases before that deadline expires. In Richmond, Jackie Ward, KPIX 5. Jackie, thank you. A Richmond supervisor says that the contract with ICE brought in up to $3 million a year, money that taxpayers may have to make up.